you for coming coming along. Thank you for coming to eBay Open and thank you for coming along to the session. My name is Ananya and I work in the shipping team in eBay UK. And today what I'll be taking you through is what is it that customers want when it comes to their online shopping experience, what they expect out of delivery, how eBay facilitates things for you to be able to offer those um, expectations to, to buyers, and then also what are the benefits in there for you as sellers and business owners. So, so let's get started. Uh, we can be as interactive and as informal as you want. So if you have any questions, you can stop me in between or we can come to your questions at the, at the end of it. So, so yeah, let's, let's get right into it. So all of us do online shopping, right? None of us in this room, there's nobody in this room, I suppose, who's never shopped online. Um, and of course, when, when we do shop online as buyers, we have certain expectations in mind, right? We want things to be delivered in a certain amount of time. We want things to be delivered for free, if possible, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So for the next few minutes, uh, put yourselves in the shoes of the buyer, which all of you are in your, in your everyday lives. And let's think about delivery from that perspective. So although it's something that occurs quite towards the end of a customer's buying journey, because it's pretty much the last thing, the last mile uh, that is associated with it, delivery and shipping are things that are very important throughout the entire customer decision funnel, right from the very start, when customers are making a choice, when they're looking at a multitude of products and trying to funnel their choices into what exactly it is they want. Things like how fast will things be delivered to them, whether they have to pay an extra cost for getting that item delivered to them, do they have choices when it comes to delivery options. These are all things that play a very vital role in funneling that decision making process for buyers. So even if it's something that occurs at the end, it is, delivery is something that plays a part throughout the customer journey. So once a customer has kind of you know, narrowed down uh, their choices into one single product and they're looking at more information and more details around it, again, this very same um, elements of time and cost and speed would be the ones that will make them actually go that extra mile, pun intended, and click on the buy button and check out with that, with that product. And after a sale has happened, once you know, the transaction is done, the items delivered, again, things like can they return an item if they want to because they've changed their mind or something is not quite right? Can they track the product that they've purchased and get that extra peace of mind that everybody craves uh, right now? Uh, and then also the reviews that they'll leave you, your businesses and you as sellers, all of this has very important elements of delivery and shipping ingrained in it. So it's definitely something that, that you should keep um, front of mind when you're listing your items and when you're making your, your sales. Uh, so let's have a little, uh, little fun quiz. I don't have prizes to give away, but, but let's do it for the thrill of it, right? Uh, so what do you think do 68% of UK consumers consider an adequate time for standard delivery? Shout out your answers if you want that me. Three to five? Two to three? Any, any, anybody else? So two to three is the correct answer, in fact. So most UK consumers consider two to three days an adequate time for standard delivery. They do not want to lie, they do not want to wait longer than that. Now a lot of it has been, a lot of this customer expectation comes from, you know, how many changes have been made in the logistics um, field and the delivery networks over the past few months and years. I'm sure most of you have an Amazon account and buy with, I don't know, Oh. <laughs> on principle. I wish I had the, 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 the inner strength to be able to do that. Uh, but no, so things like Prime or you know, ASOS's next day delivery or the, if, if any of you have seen the fast grocery delivery apps popping up um, all across, all of these are kind of reflections of how buyer expectation has changed over the years and it has changed towards mm -hmm. impatience. So people do not want to wait uh, much longer for anything. Just to add a little more flavor to that, um, over the last couple of years, uh, we, we, we've seen in surveys that 41% of UK buyers have said that they would abandon their carts if the delivery time was too long. So they would go the entire stretch, make that effort in choosing a product, going up to the, the cart, but if they see that it's too long to, to be delivered, they're just gonna abandon it despite the time that they invested in it. So again, another reason to think about uh, your delivery propositions right up front, that you don't lose those buyers at the end. Alrighty, question number two. 
what percentage, roughly, uh, do you think um, of UK consumers think that fast delivery has become more important to them since the pandemic? 48, okay. Anybody else? Okay, 48 is closer to the right answer. So the actual answer is 46. That's very uncannily close. <laughs> Uh, so what's happened is that, as you've seen in the previous um, question and, the, and its answer, already um, like nearly 70% of people want their deliveries to be within two to three days. And that has only increased in the last year after COVID. So the pandemic has unfortunately done nothing to make us more patient beings. We now want to spend more time doing the things that we really want to spend our times on, right? You know, socializing or running your own, or doing your own thing. So delivery is not something that people want to wait longer for, uh, for anyway. Question number three, uh, what percent of UK buyers do you think want standard delivery to be free? <laughs> Higher, okay, anybody else? Higher than 80, lower than 80? Very precise answer again. <laughs> the answer is 52%. Uh, this is uh, from figures in 2021. Uh, now, of course, get coming, you know, putting things in perspective with the cost of living crisis that we're all living with, through right now and uh, the extra pressure on, on purses that is, that is prevalent, in, particularly in the past few months and, uh, months and weeks. This figure is only going to increase, right, because people will want to save as much as is possible uh, from every element of their, of their purchase. And nevertheless, over half of, of uh, customers want their uh, standard deliveries, two to three days, to be free of cost. So, so another very important thing to, to keep in mind. However, having said that, as buyers, as we all are buyers ourselves as well, we are not completely irrational, right? So we understand that if we want something delivered next day or faster than standard, it comes at a premium. So they understand that it requires extra effort and extra, extra charges to it. So if you want to offer next day delivery or a faster alternative to standard delivery, buyers are happy to pay for it. In fact, I think a, a, a good majority, nearly three quarters of buyers have said that they would be happy to pay a charge for upgrading their delivery choices to next day. So offering that option needn't erode your margins if you want to offer it. Uh, keep your charges reasonable. So we would recommend not charging anything over £10 if it's possible for a next day upgrade, but definitely think about offering that, um, that option. And the last question. So it's a true or false question, right? Um, if you, as a seller on your listings, if you're offering a one day dispatch time and you're selling your items or sending your items with say every or Hermes standard delivery or a Royal Mail second class option, for instance, do you think that would deliver you a three day estimate on eBay? No. Touche. <laughs> I will, I will note that uh, definitely, but no, uh, that is false uh, in fact. So on eBay, on the platform, if you want to offer a three working day um, estimate to your customers, you need to make sure that the dispatch time and the carrier's um, time that it takes to send uh, to, to your customers together is within three days. Uh, we will look at more details on that in, in just a second. That's been about looking at things from a buyer's perspective. But of course, we have to balance things out, right? There has to be something in it for the sellers and the businesses. So what happens if you check all the boxes that we just saw through, through the quizzes? What happens if you offer those things to your buyers? Well, what we try to do at eBay is we try to maximize the visibility of listings that have those um, attributes connected to them. So if you're offering a free delivery option within three working days, what we'll do, what we've been doing is, there is a simplified postage message that is attached to your listing. So I'm sure you've seen those little green um, indicators to say free two day postage, free next day or free three day postage. Now this is uh, an upgrade on the older fast and free badges that we used to have. Some of you might remember the little green truck uh, and the fast and free icon next to it. Now the, it was fine and dandy to have that, but the problem with calling something fast and free is fast can be quite subjective. I might want something next day, and for me that's fast, but somebody else can say, okay, two days, three days is fine for me. So fast was quite subjective, so we've tried to make it a bit more, we've tried to give out a bit more information with this upgrade so that the buyers know when can they expect an item to arrive. Is it within, is it the next day? Is it within three days? 
And what this little badge does is it enhances the visibility of your listings which offer that delivery standard throughout the customer's um, journey. So it's right from the, the search uh, page to the view item uh, experience that buyers will have. And of course, buyers are more informed this way. So just a little while ago, I, uh, the, the last question of our little fun quiz uh, was, you know, if you're offering a one day dispatch and a Royal Mail second class, for instance, is it, uh, does it qualify for a three day delivery? So let's take a little bit more detailed uh, look into how to offer a three, a within three working day delivery. Again, the reason why I'm stressing so much on three working days is because as we saw, two to three days is the time that buyers have come to expect. So if, for instance, you use an express service to send out your items, an express service, for instance, a UPS next day or a Yodel next day, for instance, you can offer a dispatch time that is range, that can range from same day up to two days uh, and, and still your listings will qualify to be a three working day estimate. If, on the other hand, you are using a standard service, for example, a Royal Mail first class, then you need to offer either same day or one day dispatch to be able to make sure that your listings are within three days. Also, when you're listing on eBay, please make sure, so we do mention the SLAs or the service level agreements. Sorry for my jargon, can't help it. Um, so make sure that you're looking at the number of working days that are shown out there. So if a service is one to two days or X to Y days, the maximum is what is going to be taken into consideration because that's what the carriers uh, tell us that they try to uh, deliver in. Now, if you want to send your items with an economy service like a Royal Mail second class, as, we, as we've been using in our example, you ought to offer same day dispatch in order to make sure that your items will fall within that three working day purview. I'll come on to the same day dispatch settings in a little more detail in, in just a moment. Uh, that's a very good question, actually. So for getting that badge shown on your listings, your default uh, shipping option needs to be within three working days. So you can have however many options you want, but make sure that the default is, uh, is the right combination within three days to be able to show that to the buyers and enhance visibility. Why, why so would that be? Because obviously, if you're offering like, Royal Mail 24 might be a fiver, mm -hmm. and you have that little perception price, then it's going to make you less attractive to the bankers. Whereas a Royal Mail 48 might be two pounds. You know what I mean? So, you, so how does that, what's the level of that? Does it make sense to offer that as a default? Because, because of where it shows in the search? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because obviously, yeah. you go in, so say three to every estimate, and you want to sit in that, you know what I mean, whatever mm -hmm. it is, mm -hmm. because you want to do one day. So you um, I would say that the best in class approach and uh, it would be to to offer a free estimate within three working days. That's going to take you that's yeah. going to be better, more beneficial for your listings uh, just by virtue of the fact that most people, even psychologically, they want to see free shipping as as kind of the, the standard option. Uh, but definitely, if, you, if you're if you offering other choices with it, it, even if it's paid, that'll still show up on your listings. And if buyers want, they can they can upgrade and they can choose. Uh, if you're offering a free, for example, if you're offering free delivery with Royal Mail First Class, which is a faster option, whichever is your faster option with your free option, make that your default. Yeah, I was just surprised to see Royal Mail 48 on the same day. I thought that would be a no-brainer for me. Yeah, so th that's that's why I say it's very important to take a look at the, the timings that we mentioned because Royal Mail 48 is actually, despite the fact that it's called 48 hours, it's a two to three day service. So three days is the maximum, hence why the requirement for a same day dispatch with that service. So yeah, it is a bit tricky to, to reconcile the name uh, or what we think the, the, the standard will be and actually look at the, the detail with respect to that. No problem. Uh, so a few more tips, right, for making your delivery experience uh, really good and to make it stand out. Uh, so we spoke about cutoff times, uh, or we spoke about same day dispatch a little while ago. So if you offer same day dispatch on eBay, what you can do is you can set your cutoff time in the day. Because of course, um, I mean, you're, you know your operations best, so you know when you'll be ready to pick, pack and dispatch. So you can set the, the cutoff time per your uh, needs and your situations. 
The default across the platform is 2 p.m. We would definitely recommend to not go below 2 p.m. because uh, in internal research we've seen that buyer engagement starts to peak around 2 p.m. and after. So if you're offering same-day dispatch, allow enough time for your customers to benefit from the offer that you're putting in front of them. If your cutoff time is too early, not a lot of people will be online shopping at 10 a.m. for instance, so they will not be able to see the benefits of what you're offering. Think about that when you're setting up your cutoff times. Uh, we've recently actually uh, just made a change to make sure that some sellers who offer very late cutoff times uh, can actually show that to buyers now. So you can uh, set your cutoff times up to 10.45 p.m. If, if, you are, if you're doing that. But as I said, try not to make it before 2 p.m. at any rate if possible. You can obviously change your cutoff time settings on in your account preferences, even by day of the week. Uh, and you can choose the working days that you choose to work in the same tool. The default is Monday to Friday, but if you're working weekends, you can definitely check Saturday and Sunday to make sure that the that's reflected in the delivery estimates that buyers will see in your listings. Um, another great uh, thing to mention here is, um, of course, we're running up to one of the busiest periods of, um, of the year when it comes to uh, sales volumes uh, with Black Friday and then leading up to Christmas. And then, uh, so a lot of times things can happen, for example, carriers have a lot of backlogs or there are bottlenecks. And recently, as we've seen, Royal Mail postal strikes uh, where, you know, things have happened which are definitely out of the control for sellers um, and, and for buyers. So what we try to do um, within, within our team, in fact, is we try to keep a very close eye on any extraneous circumstances which, which are beyond your control. And we will try to step in and make sure we do things so that you're not negatively or too negatively impacted by it. So if required, we'll put in some delivery date extensions uh, for, for things like strikes or storms, uh, for instance. Uh, and also, we will also step in and place some seller protections to make sure that, you know, things that are getting laid without your fault are not reflected on your seller metrics and you are not penalized for that. So the point of saying that is we try and take care of those external circumstances so that you don't have to worry about it. So and and you don't have to change your, your settings ever so often. So you don't have to extend your dispatch times or you don't have to think about, you know, extending your delivery estimates by yourselves because we'll try and take care of most of it. Most of these things are communicated on the announcement boards on our seller community uh, forums. And there's also a whole postage board dedicated to shipping updates, which you can subscribe to if you, if you want to. And whenever there's an action that we've taken, whether it's extensions to the delivery estimates or protections that we are putting in place, you'll get notified of that uh, very readily. And um, this might seem very, very commonsensical, but as they say, uh, you know, Nothing, nothing more uh, common sense can be sometimes uncommon. <coughs> so uh, what, I would, what I want to say here is list what you do and do what you list. That is to say, if, when you are stating different things on your listings, state the dispatch time that you're practicing most often, for instance, neither understate nor overstate, because then it, when, when you're understating or overstating, but delivering, uh, but not you know, delivering to, to what you've stated, that starts to hamper buyer trust because then the buyers are a bit confused and like, do I, do I expect what I've just seen in practice or do I trust what I'm seeing on the listings? Uh, and also from a data perspective, it is, it is important to make sure that we're, you know, what's being said is what's actually happening. Uh, also, whenever possible, please list with the exact carrier service that you use. So uh, unless, uh, of course, there can be some exceptions, but unless, uh, as, as long as the carrier that you're using is part of the the, the listing flow that, that you have. If you can choose that carrier from the list, please do that and avoid listing with generic carriers like other 48 or other 24 or other three to five days. Multiple reasons for that. Number one is again, buyers do not like to see generic carriers on the listings because they don't know what to expect. The second thing is that all the generic carriers like the other services, sorry, are configured as Monday to Friday. So if you have weekend operations, that will not get reflected in the delivery estimates uh, around the weekend. Uh, and again, uh, again, from a data perspective as well, it's, it's better to, to you know, put into the system what you're actually doing so that it can be properly reflected to, to your buyers. And also in, your, in cases like the postal strikes, for instance, um, currently the protections that we've put in place cover 
all sellers regardless of carriers, but there can be some circumstances where protections are linked to the carriers that you're using. So to make sure that you get the benefit when you, when you ought to get the benefit, you, we know exactly what you've been sending with. And uh, of course, the last point, which I think I've repeated enough times already today that you'll remember my face and remember the fact that delivery within three days is quite important for your, for your buyers. Um, so let's, let's close this off before, before concluding this, um, uh, this session with a few more uh, nuggets of what buyers expect out of delivery. So far, we've just been focused on cost and speed, right? But there are some other elements that we ought to remember as well. Choice is also something that is super, super important. Um, so nearly half of UK consumers in a, in a survey had said that they would choose one retailer over another if they provided more delivery choices. So buyers want to be as flexible as possible you know, with their lives and their schedules. So offering them more choices is, is always a good thing. And that choice can be the choice of multiple options. So a standard delivery, an express delivery, then another great way of uh, incorporating choice into your delivery proposition is through click and collect. So click and collect, uh, offering click and collect would come at no extra cost to you on eBay. All you have to do is for your eligible listings, you just send your product to the collection location uh, rather than a buyer's home address. And with the partnerships that we've put in place, there are over 4,000 collection locations available all across the country for you and your buyers to benefit from. Click and Collect also offers you an added layer of protection as a seller. So once your item is received in good condition at a collection location, you are not, you're exempt from an item not received case. So you'll, you'll not get that defect on your account. And also if a buyer hasn't turned up after seven days to collect their item, eBay will bear the cost and the responsibility of returning that back to you. And also, we can't, uh, we can't talk about customer experiences about delivery without touching on returns and tracking. So um, let's talk about returns first. So of course, both of these elements instill trust in you as sellers and us as a platform. And just picking up on returns first, um, it is a question of competitive disadvantage um, as well, or advantage, however you want to look at it. Because about 92% of business sellers on eBay UK already offer at least 30% 30 day return periods. So if you're not offering a return period that's at least 30 days, you're putting yourself at a competitive disadvantage because others are doing it. Yeah, at least 30 days, yeah, 30 days or more. Yeah. Uh, to, to prove further that this will be a competitive disadvantage, here's another uh, stat for you. I will not take a pop quiz at the end so you don't have to remember the exact numbers. It's just to get a, a normal understanding. So nearly 60% of UK customers has, had said that they are more likely to shop with a seller who has uh, an easy returns policy as opposed to one who doesn't. So again, something that happens even after a sale has, um, has happened has ramifications and plays a part in the customer's decision-making ability. I'm going to come back to you on that because I want to be sure that I give you the right uh, the right answer because search takes so much so many things into consideration so I want to be sure I give you the right answer. Uh, and just concluding this thought of bad returns and tracking with a tracking fact. Uh, so again, nearly seventy percent of customers have said that tracking is one of their top three considerations when they're buying an item. It's right up there with price and, and choice. So top three is 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 the right spot to be in, right? So whether they can track an item uh, gives customers more peace of mind, makes them feel like they're in control, and they can see when an item is arriving whether, and they can plan themselves around that. So again, super, super important. Uh, and also from a protection perspective for sellers, uh, tracking is important because then in case of any disputes, we can look at the tracking events and make sure your account doesn't get um, defects when it ought not to. Another uh, good a positive effect of offering tracking is that when you offer a track service, valid tracking uh, and upload a valid tracking number, tracking events will pull automatically. So when buyers are looking at the, the tracking page, they'll see the carrier events uh, pulled automatically. So in transit, uh, whether it's out for delivery, delivered, etc. So what that does is that'll reduce the instances of buyers contacting you for a where is my order query. So that's going to free up a little bit of your time. So always a good thing. 
So that's been a lot of talking, right, about uh, and a lot of numbers that I've thrown at you just for for making you um, see what the buyer expectations are. This is the too long didn't read version of the entire uh, talk that I've just done. So these are the key takeaways. If you want to remember some things from this session, these these are the things. So what makes a great eBay listing when it comes to delivery and shipping? A free delivery option with up to three day delivery. Offer same day or one day dispatch if it's possible. Now, of course, I understand that there can be exceptions where you know you might have a customized product, you might have something that needs some sort of personalization or something that's heavy and bulky, uh, which is not conducive to same day or one day dispatch, which is fine. This is more the, the, the general, um, the, the majority that we're, that we're talking about. Offer a track delivery service whenever possible. Definitely try and offer a track service for items that are priced over 20 pounds. It would be a recommendation. Um, offer your customer's choice with offering a next day postage option, which can be charged up to 10 pounds is our recommendation. And offer a 30 plus day return window. And of course, if you want to open up to more buyers, you should consider offering international delivery, which you can either do yourself or by uh, using our global shipping program. And there are sessions about cross-border trade, which, uh, which you can listen into to get more detail about that. So again, that is the buyer angle of what makes a great eBay listing. The flip side has to be what benefits does this, does this bring you as sellers. So uh, I've already talked about how the visibility is enhanced by the postage messages that we have, the little green lines. Mm -hmm. uh, but apart from that, most of these things that are listed to my right, to your left, uh, our criteria for what makes uh, a listing uh, the eBay premium service. So if you are a top rated seller on eBay or when you become a top rated seller and you offer most of these things, you, your listings will become a premium listing which comes with a badge. So it, it'll look like that, eBay premium service, which again instills more trust in buyers uh, that they're buying from a trusted seller and this is a good service that they're getting. But also it unlocks a 10% final value fee discount for you when that listing sells. So there's a direct monetary benefit to that as well. So definitely one to keep in mind. And of course, it'll make buyers happy. That's what we want to do when we, when we are selling to them. So that's pretty much um, uh, you know, most of the things that I had to share with you. Uh, I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, let me know. You can, you can ask away right now, or you can find one of us wearing the, the black t-shirts. I had to look at it to confirm it's black. And the green lanyards, so we're all eBay people and we will either answer your question or direct you to somebody who can. And if you want, you can definitely go on to the seller center and the help pages and also subscribe to the postage message board so you are aware of things that are happening within shipping. Thank you so much for listening in.